Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to grow several different crops from the Rustic mod, uh, specifically grapes, chilies, and tomatoes. Uh, this is a very commonly requested tutorial, common question I get, so I thought I'd put something together to help you out. If you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so a couple things we're going to start with today. First, we're going to start by making an almanac, which is the basic guidebook that will help you with everything from rustic. To do that, you're just going to combine a book with olives and three iron nuggets. I'll give you your almanac. Now, today we're also going to need some rope made with just three string and some wooden stakes, which are made with just three planks. Now I've got a traditional little farming area set up here. We've got some soil that I've hold on. We've got some water in the middle to get it going. Let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things. We'll grab the almanac first. So with the almanac, if you right click on it, like many of the guidebooks, we'll show you different things that you can do. A lot of different decorations that can be made, as well as different things that can be produced, such as alcoholic beverages and elixirs, and the different types of agriculture. And the ones most commonly I get asked about are tomatoes, chili peppers, and grapes specifically. So we're gonna talk about those today. And we're gonna start with tomatoes and chili peppers. For that, we're gonna need the wooden stakes that we made. So basically, all you have to do to plant these seeds is to put a wooden stake in the dirt and then right click on that stake. The seeds themselves will not grow without the stake there. You have to have that. And that's the part that most people are unaware of. Now, if you you can wait for them to grow, or you can use bone meal. As you can see, they've grown. Now I have, by right-clicking, chili peppers, right-clicking some tomatoes. Now, be aware that for tomatoes, there are tomato seeds from a different mod in Sky Factory, um, and they're made differently. Well, today we're looking at the ones specifically from the Rustic mod. Now, the next thing is going to be grapes, and grapes uh, require a little bit of an extra step. So with grapes, we're going to need some rope, and the grape seeds. So again, we're going to start with our wooden stakes. I'm going to put those too high right here. Now, the way that grape seeds work, that you could plant them next to that stake. Now, they're not going to do anything for you just next to the stake themselves. You have to have rope. When you tie rope and you connect the rope between these stakes, on there there we go that is needed for the grapes to grow up into so again we'll bone meal you see it's grown up into the rope now as it continues to grow it will stretch out one block away from where it's planted but it does have to be over soil and there has to be at least a space in there and then eventually it will grow you a grape again i've used bone meal to speed this process up but then if you right click you've got your grapes and then give it time, an additional one will grow. So it has to have a space next to it in order for the grape vine to continue. And it has to have a space underneath. So it has to be too high in order for the grapes to be able to populate underneath and to grow. Okay. Same thing can happen here. Connected. Now I've got grapes. So these, again, don't really explain it well in the JEI themselves. Uh, so the almanac is kind of needed to, to figure out how to do those if you haven't figured it out on your own. Um, but these three specific crops um, aren't needed for a whole lot of different things, but there are some of the recipes later in the game that you may need some of these for the advancements, especially when you get into some of the food-based advancements. So this is how you get those crops. And there you go. Some extra little way to get some different farming crops in your Sky Factory world. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. Pretty easy one today. If you do have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments. I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there on the bottom of the homepage is a place where you can submit questions or feedback via email. Uh, you'll also find a link to my streaming schedule, all my videos and tutorials, my social media accounts, uh, as well as a lot of other different resources such as the ODG store, 
um, podcasts and other things that we have as well. So it's a great resource that I recommend you check out. Uh, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.